earlier, we saw some errors about a native VLAN mismatch. We're going to look at this error in more detail and figure out exactly what causes it. As you recall from earlier, 802.1Q tagged frames contain a VLAN ID. When a frame for, say, VLAN 100 comes across a trunk, it's going to be tagged with a VLAN ID of 100. That's why these frames are called tagged frames. But on an 802.1Q trunk, some frames may be untagged. In other words, they may just be normal 802.3 Ethernet frames with no VLAN IDs and in fact no 802.1Q headers at all. These are called untagged frames because they have no 802.1Q tags. So this raises a question. When a switch sends an untagged frame across an 802.1Q trunk, how does the receiving switch know which VLAN it belongs to? Well, untagged frames ingressing or egressing a trunk interface belong to what's called the native VLAN, which is VLAN 1 by default. But it can actually be anything. It's configurable. So let's take a look at our next requirement to see exactly how this works. On the trunk between switch 1 and switch 2, set the native VLAN to 300. Sounds pretty easy. Deceptively easy, probably. But let's go to switch 1 and find out. All right, let's do a show interfaces trunking here, and we can see that the native VLAN is one. All right, let's go to fast ethernet 023, interface FA023, and let's do a switch port trunk and question mark. And notice we have an option for native, set native trunking characteristics. Well, let's do that. Let's do native, and I'm gonna hit a question mark here, and I have only one option, VLAN, set native VLAN, when interface is in trunking mode. All right, let's do that. Let's check that one out. And here we can set the native VLAN ID, which should be 300. Now, I'm gonna hit enter here, because as soon as we do this, we start getting errors. We have a few spanning tree errors, and then a we should be getting a native VLAN mismatch error here in just a moment. Yep, there we go. And look closely at what it says. Native VLAN mismatch discovered on Fast Ethernet 023. And in parentheses, it says 300 with switch to Fast Ethernet 01 and a 1 in parentheses. So it's saying that switch 1 thinks the native VLAN is 300, while switch 2 thinks that the native VLAN is 1. So they're mismatched. So let's go to switch 2 and fix this. We see the error here on switch two as well. So let's go ahead and go to fast ethernet 01 and the same command here, switch port trunk native VLAN 300. Cool, now let's do a show interface trunk again. And look at that, the native VLAN is now 300. So now that we've made this fairly big change, let's verify that we still have connectivity with our VMs on this VLAN 300. Let's go back to switch one here. And we're going to do another ping, 192.168.3.10. And that works. And then 3.11. And it fails the first time, but then it starts working. Let's take a moment to talk about what's really happening here, okay? Traffic between switch 1 and switch 2 on VLAN 300 is now untagged because VLAN 300 is now the native VLAN between the switches. This means that there are no 802.1Q VLAN ID tags on these VLAN 300 frames. The other thing to remember is that the native VLAN applies to the interface, not to the VLAN. Let me show you what I mean by that. If I do show interface trunk, notice that on the trunk, with my VMware host, which is Fast Ethernet 014, the native VLAN is still set to 1. That means that any VLAN 300 frames going over this trunk will be tagged. They will be tagged with the VLAN ID of 300. The tagging happens when the frame is encapsulated and sent out of the interface. Again, it's not something that applies to the entire VLAN. However, traffic for VLAN 300 that goes across the Fast Ethernet 023 interface to switch to is not going to be tagged. There are some cases where you want all traffic to be tagged, including traffic to and from the native VLAN. This is called native VLAN tagging. Now, although this effectively eliminates the whole point of the native VLAN to begin with, Cisco still calls it native VLAN tagging. One reason you might want to do this is to mitigate against what are called VLAN hopping attacks, in which a attacker can generate an 802.1Q frame 
tagged with a particular VLAN and send it onto the native VLAN and trick the switch into thinking that it's legitimate traffic for that VLAN. Now, you don't need to know about how VLAN hopping attacks work for the exam. The point is that there are reasons you want to essentially get rid of the untagged native VLAN altogether. You want only tagged traffic on all your trunks. So let's take a look at our next requirement. On switch one and switch two, ensure all native VLAN traffic is tagged. All right, let's go to switch one again. So the command for ensuring that all native VLAN traffic is tagged between switch one and switch two is actually pretty simple. If I go to configure T, I'm gonna type VLAN dot one Q tag native. Now that command is may seem a little bit out of place and it's really not a very intuitive command, but it is one that's good to remember, or at least if you can remember VLAN, you can use the inline help to figure out the rest of it. So we'll go ahead and hit enter here and we don't get any kind of output. Nothing happens, nothing changes apparently, but we can verify this with a simple do show VLAN dot one Q tag native. And now it says .1Q native VLAN tagging is enabled. Now, let's go ahead and try to ping one of our VMs. Let's do a ping 192.168.3.10. And that works. And let's do a 3.11. And, ooh, this one is not working. All right, let's go ahead. That one didn't work. Let's go ahead and try 4.10. Oh, 4.10 works. Let's do 4.11. I'm going to repeat only twice here. And oh yeah, look look at that. 4.11 actually works. Let's let's repeat a few more times. Okay, 4.11 works. Okay, so this is interesting, right? Only one of these VMs doesn't work. And that's that 192.168.3.11. What is that? Well, let's do a show ARP here. We can see 3.11 has that 04D6 MAC address. So let's do a show MAC address and include 04D6. And oh. We set our aging time too low. Let's go ahead and ping this guy again here. We have a only 10 second aging time. I'm gonna do a repeat one here. Okay, so we're not getting anything because we obviously do not have layer two connectivity here. The reason it's not working is that switch one is tagging VLAN 300 traffic, but switch two is not. So there is a mismatch here. But notice, we're not seeing any errors. The only clue we have that something is wrong is that we just don't have layer two connectivity to one VM on switch two. So let's go to switch two and fix this. Let's go ahead and do a show VLAN dot one Q tag native. And it says dot one Q native VLAN tagging is disabled, which is the default. So let's change that, configure T. VLAN, and I'm going to show you the inline help this time. If I hit question mark here, we have dot one Q parameters, question mark, there's only one for tag, and then there's only one for native. And that's it. So once you remember VLAN, again, it's pretty easy to figure out. Let's hit enter here. All right, now let's do another show VLAN dot one Q tag native, and native VLAN tagging is enabled. So let's go back to switch one and try that ping again that failed earlier. Let's do 3.11. I'll just do repeat 5 because I've got a lot of confidence in this. Oh, there we go. Now it works. This is one of those things where you really have to be able to look at the symptoms and use your show commands to figure out what's going on. It was not really obvious in this case. This was not a case where we just did a show command and it told us what was wrong. You have to think about some of these things and really know your stuff.